everyone and welcome to another Night Sky with Naz. This week I'm going to be showing you how you can find the North Star. So we're going to start by busting the first myth that everyone knows about the North Star and that is that it's the brightest star in the sky. But it actually isn't. It is not the brightest star in the sky. It's around about the 50th brightest. So don't go looking for the brightest star in the sky to find the North Star because that is not it. But I'm going to show you a really easy way to find it in the sky and you will be able to see it from your own back gardens as well. But before I do that we're going to talk a little bit about why we have a North Star in the first place. So it's really good for us that we do actually have a North Star because it makes things really easy for us. Um, it allows us to know which way we're looking, um, so once we find the North Star we can work out which way North is and from there we can work out where all the other directions that we're looking in are as well. Um, but it's also a really good starting point to find other objects in the sky as well. So it's a really good star to find and then from there work out how to go to other stars or even galaxies and nebulas as well. But we have a North Star um, because our Earth spins on its axis. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, how this happens using a lemon. So this lemon is planet Earth. This is our Earth. And what I'm going to do is take a skewer and I'm going to stick this skewer through the center of the lemon. And this is going to sort of demonstrate how the Earth spins on its axis. So this, this points north and this points south. And as the Earth is going around the Sun, it also spins on its axis like this, which is what uh, gives us days and nights. But as it's doing this, you can see that if you're looking at a star up here, it wouldn't appear to move at all. But if I take another skewer and I put it at an angle through this lemon, and then I spin the Earth as well, again like I was before, you can see that if you're looking at a point of light here, that would spin, like this. So because the North Star is directly above the North Point on our planet, it doesn't actually appear to move in the sky. It just appears to stay still, while the rest of the stars in the sky appear to spin around. And that is how we have a North Star. So we're going to go on to how you can find the North Star from your own back garden. And that is by first looking for a shape that you've all probably heard of or might have even seen in the sky called the Big Dipper or the Plow. So the Big Dipper or the Plow kind of looks like a pan shape in the sky and I'm going to show you what that looks like. But if you haven't seen it, it's really easy to spot. All of the stars in it are quite bright as well. So they're really easy to spot from your back garden wherever you live. But we're going to use these stars to find the North Star. The Big Dipper, or the Plough, is found in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. And from there we're going to look for the North Star, which is in the constellation of Ursa Minor, the Baby Bear. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can find the North Star using a bit of software called Stellarium. So it's a night sky navigation app, uh, and it simulates what the night sky looks like on any given night at any given time. So you can use it to see what the sky would look like and help you find things up there. But going on to Stellarium here, we can see that it is currently night time and you can see the stars that would be visible to you uh, at night. Um, if I reveal the constellation lines and labels, you can see that the stars have shapes and patterns which we call constellations. And you can see where Ursa Major is. So you can, you can spot where Ursa Major is and that is the great bear. If I turn the artwork on, you can see that it is supposed to be a bear. So that is Ursa Major. But if we zoom in a little bit on Ursa Major, you'll see that we're actually going to focus on the part that makes up the Big Dipper, or the plow, as we call it. And we're going to use the stars to the left of Ursa Major. We're going to start at the tail of the bear and we're going to draw a line 
through the tail of the bear and in, uh, into half of his body. So we're going to draw this line in this pan shape, starting from the tail of the bear. So we're going through the pan handle, into the pan itself, and eventually to the last two stars on the edge, on the right hand edge of the pan. So this is what we call the Big Dipper or the plow, and it's really big and really easy to spot in the sky. Once you've found that, like I said, draw this line through the pan, pan handle into the pan itself and eventually to the last two stars on the right hand edge of the pan. And then you're going to keep going with that line in a straight line into the sky. And the next bright star that you get to, the next brightest star that you get to, that star there is our North Star. So we actually, its real name is Polaris but it's more commonly known as the North Star, but that is how you find the North Star. All of the other stars in the sky appear to spin around this one star. So there you have it, that is how you find the North Star in the sky. So like I said, you can spot it from your back garden, so get out there when you have a clear night, take an adult with you if you're going out at night, and try and spot the North Star in the sky. I hope you have some clear skies and happy observing.